Locate the cricothyroid membrane using your non-dominant hand. Remember, the membrane lays inferior to the prominent thyroid cartilage. Direct the over-the-needle catheter and syringe assembly in a caudal fashion and pierce the cricothyroid membrane at an angle 45 degrees relative to the skin surface. Pull back on the plunger during advancement. Entrance into the trachea will be heralded by a return of air into the syringe. Once proper needle position has been confirmed, advance the catheter over the needle and into the trachea. Next, thread the guide wire through the catheter and into the trachea. While maintaining firm control of the guide wire, gently remove the catheter. Use the 11 blade scalpel to make a vertical incision in the skin over the cricothyroid membrane to facilitate passage of the dilator and airway catheter. Carefully guide the blunt dilator over the guide wire. Be sure that the wire fully passes through the dilator and that you control the proximal end of the wire before proceeding. Advance the dilator and the airway catheter as a unit into the trachea using a reciprocating motion. The hub and flange of the catheter should be flush against the skin. Simultaneously remove the guide wire and the dilator from the catheter. Inflate the cuff with 8 to 10 milliliters of air and then begin to ventilate the patient. Proper catheter placement may be confirmed using auscultation and end tidal CO2 detection. Secure the catheter to the patient using cloth tracheostomy tapes that have been threaded through the flanges of the catheter.